I'm just going to say this once. Capcom, good job. Never say it again. It hurts. It, it hurts does. to say that a lot. Hi, everyone. I'm Ash. I'm Card Dreamer. I'm your D-Class hero. I'm your D-Class villain. <laughs> and has Mega Man 11 revitalized Mega Man? <sighs> Why, Capcom, have you done this to me? Why are you making me praise you? I have been content for 30 years to find flaws in your games that have pissed me off to the point where you are not perfect. God, you're old. Shut up! So, this is why I shot you in the back. I mean, you missed. It was a simulation. I can't miss. You were programmed to sit there. And yet you still missed. You gotta get the golden gun and do it. It's true. That thud in the video wasn't Ash. I admit it. He shot, he shot the shot the chair and it fell over. It wasn't the chair. I didn't want to tell anyone, but it was fluffy. My goldfish. Moving on. <laughs> um, so, recently, as of the past couple of days, Mega Man 11 actually got moved a month ahead in release. And I do hate you for that. Good. We're back on track. Okay. Good. Now we're at that. Now we're oh. at symbiosis. We're, we're set. Oh, my um, soul. It's yeah. Back. It actually messed us up quite a little bit, not going to lie. No, it did. Our whole scheduling... Basically, Capcom has ruined any Mega Man month we had planned. Which is impressive, actually. <laughs> but uh, that aside, the game just dropped. It's everywhere on YouTube for anyone who's a Mega Man or Capcom fan. And I believe the Completionist himself just finished a video on it. Yeah, Completionist, IGN reviewed it. A mm -hmm. lot of people mm -hmm. have reviewed it, so... And what makes this game stand out? Uh, well, I have not played anything more than what footage was shown in the background of our uh, last discussion. I really wasn't setting out to play it yet. Boo. So I can't. I want to play other Mega Man games first and catch up. You're that behind, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Name a franchise I'm not behind on. That's fair. But anyway, the one thing that stands out with Mega Man 11 is we actually get some really good backstory about Wiley and Dr. Light's relationship as college students, colleagues, and a scientist. It's true. And like, it is not just like mediocre crap. Not, I'm saying, I mean, could they have done more? Sure. They can always do more. But it was actually pretty decent. And it's more story content than you have, arguably, than the past... Ten games. It's definitely the best voice acting we've had in the past ten games. Oh my gosh, yes, it's almost decent. Like, Mega Man's not a girl. Yeah. In spite of what people think, he is not a girl. He actually earned that man in his title. Yeah, kind of. Um, but overall, it's has this really revitalized the series? Have we are we actually going towards a more story driven Mega Man uh, direction? I hope so, because what they have introduced what they have introduced opens up so much potential down the road, and I've already, in that first five minutes, have found ways to connect it leading into X. So here's one thing that I like to bring up, because I'm going to do it anyway, so tough luck. Um, spoilers, just in case we do cover anything that's spoiler related. Yes, first off, spoilers. I spoil the spoilers. They deserve it. They earned it. Okay. They suck. Um, so... We all love Mario. Everyone's heard of Mario. Super Mario has been around since the dawn of gaming. With that being said, what makes Mario so easy to be... For people to just kind of pick up and play, each game has its own... is essentially its own story. Very few of them inter intertwine and kind of play into each other. I mean, if it's a continuation like Super Mario... Super Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, that's a continuation of the previous one. But overall... Every Mario game has been its own individual story. It's true. And we've never had that with Mega Man. Dr. Wily does some bad stuff again. He's trying to take over the world or trying to screw with light. And it's his own little instance. But it never really felt that impactful. The only time that ever felt impactful was when the one Mega Man game where he actually decided he wanted to kill Wily and just put an end to all of this. It's true. And actually, you know, come to think about it, 
Has it ever been established in any actual game, canically, that Wily and Light have had a history together? Or is that with other sources? It's actually been... They were actually confirmed to be colleagues in the games. I don't remember that. Which game was that? I want to see if it's like four or five. If it's five, then I missed it. But I know it's like towards that middle ground. It's definitely not eight. I played the heck out of eight. Too many times. I played probably played that game the most I've played in the Mega Man games. God, that's fair. So, but we we we've all known about Wily and Light's history. But this is the first time we actually felt flashed out real. I agree, and I felt like this. Just watching the intro was the first time since maybe two or three that I felt a sense of. An ominous threat like there's something more dangerous on the horizon not necessarily coming from this game it felt like the beginnings of a setup for grander schemes or grander problems again leading like say into X because there's foundation here whether it was intentional or not by Capcom to just go so many places with it and light isn't necessarily the do-gooder you think he is uh, Wiley's a little more of a victim than you would initially think. He, I mean, honestly, I'm just gonna put it out there. And yes, this is definitely a spoiler. But this, then again, you're gonna find this out immediately at the start of the game, so not that super bad. Um, basically, Doctor Light pretty much blocked the research that, that yeah, Doctor Light blocked the research that Doctor Wayne was trying to get approved by the board of. Whatever. Doctor like cock blocked Wiley. Yeah, with Black Man. Um, <laughs> you like that one? That was good. Yeah. That was. I, I've got you trained. That was good. But um, he blocked the research from getting approved by the Board of Science and Nonsense and stuff. And and they went for Doctor Light's idea of giving robots independent thoughts as his research and getting the grant for that. And because of this, it's the reason why, one of the reasons, probably one of many reasons why Dr. Wiley hates light. Now, that being said, we got more personality out of those two characters than ever. From just that brief, maybe even five minute interactions of cutscene. Right. No, I agree. And you know what else I also liked? Is that you get a very, 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 very small glimpse, but nonetheless a glimpse of the way robotics in the future, the civilization itself is running with the fact that it was interesting to see that the robots were coming to life for checkups. There is a routine for robotic checkups and their programming and all happening. You see how they are... With, when it came to Hard Man, he's got to get back to his construction site. So you, you're getting a bigger sense of Black Man. He, right. Well, that's what I said. Nope. Oh, oh, that's a yeah, Black Man. They said Hard Man. Hard Man, Black Man, same thing. I mean... Moving on. <laughs> um, point is, they established kind of a... A world. Yeah, they established a world of sense. And the fact that like the robots got to go for routine checkups for their systems, their performance... Like you would with any kind of computer if you're working in some kind of technological business. And that pretty much equates to people visibly, uh, regularly visiting a doctor. Wow. Except a doctor of medicine is a doctor of, you know, computers. This basically became iRobot with Mega Man. And yet, I'm okay with it. Uh, there's no Will Smith. I mean, look, it'd be better if Will Smith was in there. But we can't, he's too expensive for Capcom. I don't know. Just once you can cast Will Smith as Dr. Light, I'll be okay with it. <laughs> I think that'd be my the best and the last making the game ever. <laughs> but it's just very nice to see an actual story being established from the ground up. It is. It's kind of, in a way, it's, it is taking pages from the X games because they do have a narrative. Oh yeah, they always have some kind of early game intro. One Sometimes midway, and one at the end. And that's just like a three-page story that they're just writing. Um, we never had that with Mega Man. We had, you know, a brief thing. It's been X amount of years since Wiley's last attack. Wiley's attacking. Gloating. Captures. 
either robots that are forming or robots that Light has made, fucks off and leaves, and then causes trouble. Then they defeat him, he begs for forgiveness from whoever, then escapes. Right. Although in, th- what was it, in 4, he kidnapped Dr. Cossack? Yeah, Kozak. Kozak. So, I, I don't, it's really kind of like, I'm trying not to turn this into a theoretical discussion of where the next games could go. It's just we want to talk about how you guys feel about where it could go in a general sense. Do you feel that there is now a direction to go rather than the standard cut and paste while it's attacking, go stop them? Because it got to a point where I didn't even care where the robots were even coming from at this point. It's all the same. And honestly, if you think about it, like, Wiley's project or suggestion is actually the more logical one. Because if you get robots into Panathon, look at iRobot, for example. It's literally the best example. Or, you know, Skynet. Look at our look yeah. at our track record with robots, sentience, and movies. Right, and it actually, doesn't end well for us. It's not even necessarily robots. You're talking about AI in general yeah. with, with an independent thought, whereas Wiley is talking about really increasing efficiency with the current state of robotics. Well, with the dub, with okay, first off, the double gear system is the primary gimmick of this game. That's not really a spoiler. That's going to be something you're going to be using the entire game. True. With that being said, the way that Wiley essentially put it, it was to increase efficiency to its max for a short period of time so that they can perform better in a given instance. Right. So pretty much you're going to get them hyped up on monster and energy drinks. Basically, because it increases their ability to move faster and be stronger. The downside was that it put strains on the robotic system. Exactly. You overload it, you burn out the robot. But why are you worrying about that? Because here's the irony. Oh, now, right. anyway, is that he's worrying about robots that should theoretically not have self-awareness at the time. And they use it for evil. Well, yeah, like, well, I mean, that... If Wiley had just done his, you would have robots at a construction site that could, could theoretically get the job in a fraction of the time... Whereas now they're going to sit here and philosophical, uh, philosophicalize whether or not they should build the construction or whatever. Well, here's the, honestly, this is going to amount to another video. Actually, at this at this pace, it's going to go into another video. It really is because it just actually gave me a whole other idea that we'll discuss at a later point. Um, but really, it's an ethical choice here. Do you go for better performance or the ability to free think? And with that being said, if you give a rock sentience, give it the ability to free think, then I'm going to feel kind of bad when I throw it across the lake to skip it. At that point, it's going to think, like, wow, that was a, <laughs> you know, that's kind of a dick move. Let me get revenge on this guy. Done. No, if you, if you give it sentience and tell what its purpose is and make it more efficient as a rock, which means to stay there and skip across the lake, he's like, well, I served my purpose. I'm going to stay down here at the bottom of the lake. Right. This, I, this is life. Honestly, like, I, it does make you start thinking about the whole rhythm of the head going. Who's the good guy? Who's the bad guy? It's not so clear cut now. I mean, yes, what Wiley's doing or how he's extracting, extracting revenge is wrong. But is he not? A, I mean, he, he's a little more justified now. Oh, yeah. And it's like, uh-huh. Now, now, mind you, someone can easily argue, in the flashback, the entire thing was a dream that Wiley had. Now, with that being said, it's like, oh yeah, I have this research that I can use to get my revenge. The point is, he wouldn't need to get revenge if he wasn't block, block man. And we know that the dream happened. Yeah. Why, here's the interesting part, or another interesting part, is light has the device. Mm-hmm. He kept it. And not only did he keep it... He fixed spoiler, it. Spoiler, yeah, but he fixes it. It was not in functional condition. Oh, yeah, why they smashed it in the flashback. Right. Again, these are basically spoilers, but not really spoilers. Just clar- clarifying that. You're going to find these out just by opening the game up. 
It's true. It, so it's just it, this leads to so many different questions and thoughts, and <sighs> you need another discussion video already. Exactly. So. With that, I think we should end it right here, guys. We want to hear what your thoughts are because we kind of got off topic with this one. This one, this video, we want you guys in the comments below to tell us, do you think that there is hope for a... If they were to continue forward with Mega Man, is there chances of a good narrative going on? A story. An actual flushed out story rather than it's been X amount of years since whatever happened. This is true, and there is time travel involved. I pointed out the Ash. We'll cover that in the next video. With that being said, I'm Ash. I'm Car Dreamer. Please like, subscribe, comment below, and we want to hear what your guys' thoughts are. Do you think that there is hope for a more story-driven Mega Man game if they were to continue, or they should just stop here? Or if you have another option, please tell us. Uh, did you even like the narrative? I'd like to know that, too. Maybe you just want to go back to the cookie-cutter pattern. With that being said, catch you later. Stay evil. Stay good. Evil. Good. Evil.